This video describes how to develop voice call apps based on Telematics application framework, TelAF, services. This slide shows the design of voice call app. The blue part is the TelAF service. It provides APIs to generate inter-process communication, IPC, stub code as bindings for applications that connect to the TelAF service. You can focus on the API alone to develop voice call apps based on the TelAF service. You need an ADEF file to define the application, a CDEF file to define components, C source code to implement the voice call app, add app bundle to existing SDEF file to integrate the voice call app into your system. Let's look at the API first. The voice call service supports starting, answering, and holding voice calls. You can register the handler for a call event. The TelAF audio service supports opening the microphone and the speaker and playing audio files. Based on these APIs, you can define applications with the ADEF file and components with the CDEF file for voice call app. In the ADEF file, the voice call app has two executables. Note that the voice call app executable has a component binding to TelAF voice call service and the audio service. And the voice executable has a component binding to the voice call component to control the voice call. In the CDEF file, note that the voice call component requires TAF underscore voice call dot API, the TelAF voice call API, and TAF underscore audio dot API, the TelAF audio API. It also provides controlvc.api, the API for voice call control. Note that the prefixes of the interface are renamed from TAF to LE. Let's look at the source code. When making a phone call, the app calls LE underscore voice call underscore start with the phone number and slot ID. Since the prefix has been renamed in the CDAF file as described above, the app instead calls TAF underscore voice call underscore start via renamed LE underscore voice call underscore start, an interface provided by the TeleAF voice call service. You can end LE underscore voice call underscore end and answer LE underscore voice call underscore answer the phone call by calling different TeleAF voice call service APIs. When holding the phone call, you can play the audio file by calling the TelAF audio service API, LE underscore audio underscore play file. You can easily integrate voice call app into your system in the SDEF file to make an app bundle by adding voice call app in apps block. Let's move to the compile server. You can source the scripts via command source set underscore AF underscore ENV dot SH SA515M and start the compilation via command build hyphen SA515M hyphen AF. You can see that the voice call app bundle has been generated and you can push the app bundle to the target device via ADB push command. Now go to the target device. Use the app tool to check the app status. App status shows that there is no voice call app on the target device. Now use SDIR, the service directory tool, to check the service. It shows that TelAF voice call service and TelAF audio service provide their services with a special protocol ID. Use the log tool to search the log message for keyword legato. Then use the update tool to install the voice call app bundle. When the installation is finished, you can check the app status again. This time, you see that the voice call app is installed on the target device, and we can check the bindings. You can see that the voice call app has bindings to the TelAF voice call service and the TelAF audio service. Since the app status is stopped, you can use the app tool to start voice call app. This time, app status shows that voice call app is running, so you can make a phone call.
The log shows that the phone call has been received and answered on the device. Now, hold the phone call to play the audio file. Now hang up to end the phone call. The device plays a piece of music while holding the phone call. Stop the voice call app and check the status. App status shows that the voice call app is stopped. Use the update tool to remove the voice call app. Now app status shows that the voice call app is no longer on the app list of the target device. Thank you for watching. Please watch the next short video in our Tel AF series called Sandboxing and SE Linux.